This is 1940s Sri Lankan sent struck on a silver dime planchet. Popular wrong planchet error. Rated in mid state 65 by NGC. Fully brilliant and sharply struck on all but extreme edge of the coin where the smaller dime planchet was stretched nearly to the width of Lincoln sent by force of the dice. Blazing white and lustrous with no signs of toning, the strike is so sharp, even the VDB on the Lincoln's shoulder is clear, a feature of a lacking on normal 1943 cents on steel planchets. Of course, all 1943 mint errors have a sort of magical appeal because of the fame of the 1943 cents struck on a regular copper planchets, of which only a modest number exist. Finding any such planchet error like this cent on the dime from 1943 is a great fortune for the student of 20th century errors. But in the gem grade, this is a truly connoisseur's prize worth of the finest mint error collection. This true rarity was sold for $10,575. Here is 1916D Mercury dime in MS63 condition with full bands. The key to the Mercury dime business strike set and one of the most popular of all US 20th century coins. A stunning select example, brightly lustrous surfaces featured dappled russet, blue green, and golden tones. Well detailed with great eye appeal for the great, it was sold for $22,000. Here is 1920D Lincoln Cent in MS66 red condition. Boldly lustrous, bright mint orange surfaces exhibit lively cartwheel activity and exceptional eye appeal. The strike is sharper than typical for the issue, with the devices displaying a bold rendition of Brenner's famous scent. According to Stax Power, though more than 49 million examples of the date were produced, true gems of the date, MS65 or higher, are not an easy find in today's numismatic marketplace. This exceptional uncirculated gem penny was sold for $20,562.50. 1966 SMS Kennedy of dollar in SP68 deep cameo condition. The present coin is fully struck and brilliant with dramatic white on black contrast. There are no distracting blemishes overall. A magnificent gem that was sold for five thousand and forty dollars. This is 1937 Washington Quarter with double die verse graded in mint state 64 by NGC. After initial flourish of economic recovery during 1934-1936, the United States slipped back into a short but nasty recession 1937-38, and this reduced commercial activity was reflected in lower mintage. The Philadelphia Mint coin fewer than half the number of quarter dollars coined the previous year, though this issue remains plentiful in grades through MS66. Higher certified coins are available in limited numbers and priced accordingly. Two nice double diverse varieties are known for this issue, the first being prominent enough to be illustrated and priced in popular catalogs. This gem was sold for $4,443.75 with buyer's fee. Here is highly sought after Sacagawea dollar. 2,000 Cheerios dollar in MS67 condition. Famous Cheerios dollar that was struck from a special reverse die hub with enhanced tail feather motifs. The coins were only dispensed in Cheerios boxes for a special promotion. Once discovered, the promo ended and the few known are very rare. On the slab of this elusive gem was his signature of Thomas D. Rogers, retired sculpture engraver of U.S. Mint. It was sold for six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Nineteen forty-two Washington Quarter in PR sixty-eight condition. This is an exceptional example of the proof. Nineteen forty-two Washington Quarter, both sides with crescents of intense multicolored iridescent patina around the peripheries otherwise lightly toned in pale silver. The surfaces are uniformly mirrored in finish with a virtually pristine appearance. Impressive condition rarity from a mintage of 21,123 coins. This example was sold for $4,800. And this is 1951 Franklin of dollar in PR69 condition. This true gem is in threshold of numismatic perfection. Proof sales, which had more doubled between 1952 and 1950, rose only slightly for 1951. The quality of the coins improved, though there are still many 1951 proof half dollars coined with only semi brilliant fields. It may be that the dies were fully polished, when new but lost some of their brilliance after repeated use. 
The standard of quality familiar to collectors and proofs coin during recent decades was simply unimaginable in 1950s. This NGC graded gem ended up selling for $29,250 with buyer's fee. This is 1952 S Roosevelt Diamond MS69 condition. Best in a vivid mint set toning, both sides exhibit rich crimson copper and orange russet peripheral colors around the lighter old silver centers. All areas are equally smooth with not even a single trivial blemish as in evidence. It was sold for $5,750. 1943D Lincoln said in a 64 brown condition. Famous wrong planchet error. The Second World War was at its height in 1943 and copper was an essential commodity in the wartime economy. It was used by defense contractors in the manufacture of everything from shell casings to comma wire to conserve the strategic metal for the war effort. The Treasury Department decided to use zinc coated steel planchets instead of usual bronze coin blanks to produce all Lincoln cents that year. Apparently, a few bronze planchets remained stuck in the tot beans mint personnel used to feed the coin prices at the end of the cent production in 1942. These planchets went unnoticed when the beans were filled with zinc coated steel planchets at the beginning of the production in 1943. They became dislodged and were fed into the coin presses along with the steel blanks, resulting in a rare wrong planchet error treasures we know about today. This numismatic pinnacle in Mean State 64 ended up selling for $840,000. Centennial coin 1976 S. Kennedy half dollar. In the mid state 69, according to Heritage, the nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and, and the special reverse designs for the quarter, half dollar, and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all show the dual 1776-1976 date on obverse. The half dollar reverse with Independence Hall as a centerpiece was designed by Seth G. Huntington. In addition to regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. This magnificent silver clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Number 1, and this is 1942D Jefferson Nicolod MS 66 condition with full steps, highly sought after D over horizontal D variety. According to Heritage, the mint mark was initially punched into the die in a horizontal position and then corrected on the immensely popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety. The FS501 is extremely difficult to locate in high grade and mint state examples always command extraordinary premiums. The present coin is a spectacular premium gem with sharply detailed design elements and show full step definition on Monticello. The punched mint mark is easily detected. The well preserved surface is radiate satin mint luster under delicate shades of champagne toning. It fetched a sum of $31,725. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Have a nice day.